All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the other half brewing company, and they're headquartered in Brooklyn, New York, and this is their past and present cream ale. So they're calling this one an American cream ale. It comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listen. time of review. This can is just under one month old. So I have really enjoyed uh, the couple past and present um, beers I've had from Other Half. Uh, back on the label, they actually have writing. Like, Other Half never puts descriptions on their labels, almost ever. Um, and it says, uh, the past and present series is an exploration of the past rooted in the present. So this beer specifically says, a 19th century American original created by ale brewers to compete with German-style lagers of the time. As we like to do throughout our past and present series, we updated our version by including Yakima Valley laurel hops in addition to Czech Saz hops on a traditional base of German-grown Pilsner malt and flaked corn, and no, cream ales don't contain cream. They don't. Anyway, this was brewed at the FLX location with the blue tab, and yeah, um, I had a, what was the one that I, I think I had two from them in the past and present series, and one of them was a uh, dark English mild, and it was really good. We don't see a lot of English milds here in the US, so it was really cool to be able to uh, try, try one from other half, and I think they did a great job. Um, anyway, somebody, it's literally 9.30 at night, and I think somebody's trimming their grass in the dark. Whatever. Anyway, so cream ale here in Western New York, especially in the Rochester area, you know, Jenny Cream. Uh, a lot of breweries try to uh, brew a cream ale and, and have it so people who enjoy that style, if they come to a craft brewery, they can enjoy it. So um, this is, I guess, other half's take on it. They did their Jenny Dream Ale collaboration, which is uh, Jenny Cream Ale with um, a dose of uh, Citra and then some bunch of flaked oats. Anyway, so yeah, that looks like this looks, when people say like a uh, golden straw color, this is it. This is super light. Had about a finger of this bright white uh, soap sudsy looking head, but that looked like a Cream Ale, but the head has dissipated. Crystal clear, a little bit of chill haze, and also some condensation. But yeah, that's super light. Probably one of the lightest beers that I ever viewed in a long time. Let's get a nose. Yeah, I mean, cream ales are very uh, simplistic, in my opinion. A uh, little bit of sweet, like cereal grain. <sighs> Touch of corn, obviously. But I would just say generic cereal grain. So generic cereal grain, corn, a little bit of like a slight, like, crackery thing from the uh, Pilsner Bolt. And then on top of it, there's a floral lemony kick I'm getting in the nose. Uh, yeah. Maybe a little bit of earthiness, but very simplistic, which is what the style is. So anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. I could crush like 6,000 cans of this. First off, <clears throat> it's going to choke me to death. Now, first off, the... Mouth feels very noticeable. It has this really crisp, effervescent, super spritzy, carbonated feel to it. Exactly what you want in a cream ale. The body is straight up light body. This is not, this is a little bit watery, but I think with a cream ale, you don't want anything too substantial. You want to be able to uh, drink the entire thing in a short period of time and uh, drink multiple cans as well. So body is light, mouthfeel, super spritzy, crisp, clean, refreshing, the whole nine. The taste, again, simplistic. That's what this style is about. There is a nice, slightly sweet cereal grain corny thing throughout the entire palate. Omnipresent, underlying, never steps in the way, but is always, you can always recognize it. It's always there. Shout out to the car going by. Halfway through the palate, I'm hit with this like nice zesty lemon, a little bit of a floral tone, earthiness. And maybe a touch of like a spicy hop character, maybe from the sauce. And that's what I'm left on the back of the palate. It's mild to moderately bitter. Uh, it's semi to full on dry. Not a lot of residual sweetness. This is not sweet beer when cream ales aren't, not, aren't meant to be. Super balanced. Dare I say quaffable. 5%. You can't taste the alcohol. This is exactly what you want in a cream ale. Here's the thing. Even though I like Jenny, and I always talk about Jenny being, you know, if, if people will go like, what's your favorite go-to like... Um, macro company or cheap beer, I'll always say Genesee Cream Ale. Why? Because it's super cheap to uh, buy. It's readily available everywhere that I shop. And 
it's just hard to beat that beer from a uh, value standpoint. And that's why I don't buy a lot of cream ales from craft breweries because usually the price point is wonky. So we'll talk about that momentarily. Rating wise, for what I'm tasting here, I don't do the style. Stylistically, this is like a 4.75. They, they've done the American cream ale proper, in my opinion. It's true to style. Um, maybe the body being a little bit lighter than I'm accustomed to. I feel like Genesee cream ale is more like higher side of light, lower side of medium. This is just straight on light. And outside of that, I mean, you have that balanced, like, sweeter malt bill, a little bit of corn, and then you have that floral, spicy, zesty, lemon type of uh, hop quality on the back end. Yeah, I mean, this is this is really solid stuff. Uh, I can't go too high on it, though, just because, again, it's a cream ale, and, I, I, you know, I do this a lot when I review, like, macro uh, lagers and whatnot. If I review, again, if I reviewed two styles, it's a stylistic, this is a 475, so keep that in mind. Personal preference, though, on the past and present cream ale, uh, from other half, I am going to go high four to five. I'll go, you know what? Yeah, no, I'll go high. Five. I'm going to go high four to five. I'll go 4.1 out of five. I think they've done a really good job. I enjoy this one. Here is my only issue, as I talked about with cream ales and craft lagers in general. I believe at the brewery, these were $12 a four pack, I think. May maybe 14, but I think they were 12. Where I shopped and where I saw them in a couple different places, it was $14 a four pack or like $3.75 a can. So I paid, I think, I think I paid like three or maybe three sixty nine for that can. I can get Jenny Cream Ale. I can get a thirty rack of them for about fifteen sixty bucks. I can get six packs of the sixteen ounce pounders for like five bucks. It's hard. Is this beer three and a half times better than Jenny Cream Ale? I don't think so. Is it better than Jenny Cream Ale? Probably, but it's not substantially better. Where I'm going to go out of my way to buy this over Jenny Cream Ale. But I do uh, give kudos to Other Half for brewing this because this is this is this just shows they can brew good beer. Um, but I, it's just one of those things. It's tough for me to pay uh, high prices on lagers and low ABV stuff that I can get from a bigger brewery or even local. I know um, here in the Western New York area, you got Community Beer Works, you got Thin Man. Thin Man does their Pills Mafia, which is German Pilsner. Uh, I think, or yeah, or maybe a check, but I think it's German. And then Community Beer Works does Let's Go Pills. Uh, the Pills Mafia from Thin Man, nine ninety nine a four pack. The Let's Go Pills from Community, I think it's ten ninety nine a six pack. I, I don't want to pay fourteen dollars for a four pack of a cream ale. I just don't. You know what I mean? Anyway, step off the soapbox now and just stop complaining about the price. Availability, I don't know about this one. If you are outside of New York State and you saw this in Distro or you picked it up, let me know because I did pick this up at a local bottle shop, so I know it got Distro in New York outside of the breweries. Um, but yeah, that's it. So anyway, if you've had this one before, what did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you think it was well brewed? Uh, would you buy it again? Uh, do you care about the price point? I'd be curious to know. Throw in the comment section. Again, I'm not sitting here saying I don't buy craft lagers or I'm not going to buy craft cream ales. What I'm saying is I probably won't return to this one, even though it is a very good cream ale, just because of the price point and the value isn't there compared to, say, a Jenny cream ale. That's all I'm getting at. Anyway, let me know what you think about that. Do you think I'm wrong? I probably am because I usually am. Maybe I'm right. Who knows? Anyway, to the next one. Cheers.